Before we jump into this then, I just want to say a massive thank you to EA for giving me access to Grid Legends a little bit early to try and provide this content, of course, for you guys today. None of these videos would be possible without their help and support. Well, here we are then, ready for one of the first big releases of 2022. Hello everyone, and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here jumping in to Grid Legends. Yeah, really, really excited to be jumping into this game. I'll be honest, I haven't sort of followed the news too in depth of this, Mainly because I sort of wanted to see what the game was like when I finally got my hands on it. But it kind of drives you straight into the action in this series. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an intro for you guys, of course, before we jump into this. Very, very excited, though, for Grid Legends on the channel, of course. If it is something you go on to enjoy, make sure you leave a like and get yourself subscribed. But yeah, let's dive in then. Today, we're going to be showcasing some of the story mode from this game. And honestly, it's giving me massive, massive Toka vibes from all those years ago. But of course, quickly before... Before we jump into this, have to go through all the normal disclaimers. Of course, this is not the fully finished game. There are still going to be a few more tweaks and everything like that before you guys get access to this game towards the end of next month. It's being recorded on an RTX 3090, and of course, this is 4K 60 FPS footage. So there might be a few small little things here and there, but yeah, for the most part, I've yeah really, really enjoyed this. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. With Seneca's Yume Tanaka hot on their heels and has been for the last eight laps. Could this be the race where she makes Grid World Series history? Valentin Manzi, a one-man army in the midfield, trying to gain ground but being blocked by North Point. I can't get through. Tell them to defend. I woke up in a great mood that day. The weather was perfect. Team was finally getting noticed. Number 22 defends their position. Nice one, 22. Keep pushing. Seneca has been on a magic carpet ride this year. Yume Tanaka now. Cavalio in her sights. Poised for the overtake. She commits. Raven West forgets. It is easier to chase than it is to lead. And she's through. This proves beyond doubt that Raven West can be challenged and will be challenged. Yume was definitely on form, but there were a lot of laps to go. My focus was the same as always. Just close the gap, whatever it takes. Laura, get the position back. I'll try. Leave it to me. I won't let her pass. It's McCain versus Tanaka, an unbelievable race for Seneca. Pressure. <laughs> no, no, screw that. Look, if these idiots can keep their cars on the track. It's their problem. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact. Tanaka spins out. North Point have nowhere to go. This is a huge incident. Tanaka into the wall. Manzi sideways on the grass. Seneca number 21 out. Number 22 damage. Debris littering the track. This is unbelievable. So you don't take any responsibility for what happened? Hell no. Okay, 22, there's too much debris on track. We need you to come in. That's a negative. Do not retire the car. I repeat, do not retire. Pado, I'm seeing significant damage to 22. And no response from you, May. Is she okay? Medics are on the scene. That's all I know. Just focus on the race. Keep me updated. Can you confirm race strategy? Look, half the field can't finish. If we do, we're in the points. We can't quit. Understood. 22. Finish the race. Go, go. Right, well, here we are then on Grid Legends, ready for our first ever race. Not quite sure what these cars are, but safe to say, yeah, ours is suffering quite a few battle wounds after the race that has been so far. But yeah, really, really excited to be jumping into this one. There you can see some Kai uh, with a huge amount of damage as well. But we've just got to try and get this thing to the finish there. Nathan McCain still leading the way. Clearly meant to be, you know, the sort of main antagonist of this series as well. There's look at that three wide from the leaders. We're going to send it to the inside. Oh, lots more contact as that was always going to be a bit of an opportunistic move from myself there. Lara Cavallio right in front of us as well, but not long to go then. In this race, we're going to go down around the outside 
of Lara there as well. I must admit immediately the graphics on this game do look absolutely stunning there. Of course the RTX 3090 being pushed rather hard as well. I'm sure during this one of course 4K 60 FPS like all my footage is ever on this channel. But can we just navigate through the final few corners of this opening race? Let's just see if we can try and walk away with the dub there. Is that the final corner? I think there is the start finish line. So looks like we are going to finish this one with a couple of seconds of advantage. The car's hung on without any more damage and that's what you love to see. Well there we go then. The very first race here from Grid Legends. What do we go for our difficulty? I'm thinking probably hard or expert you know to begin this thing you know. Generally, obviously, I'll up it towards Expert or Legend later on down the line there. But I think, yeah, extra spicy racing, I can take the heat is about right for us. But, yeah, very, very excited to see what this game has got to hold. Then, beginnings with just days to go before the Grid World Series starts. Seneca Racing Team Principal Marcus Adu has a tip-off about new talent at an amateur driver event showcase. This is... Yeah, I've really got no idea what to expect from this game, but I'm very, very much looking forward to jumping in to the story mode over the next couple of days, of course. Yeah, if you want more footage from Grid Legends, make sure you do leave a like and get yourself subscribed to the channel. You know, we're going to be running it alongside a lot of the normal F1 content uh, that we do here on the channel. But looks like we're going to be heading to London for this one. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. Danaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. Contact! In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. It's on? Yeah? Okay. My name's Marcus Addo and I'm the team principal for Seneca Racing. Hey, gorgeous. No, 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 no. We uh, have that um, dinner with the board of directors tomorrow. Uh huh. Some people are born into racing. I had to work for it. My parents run a Nigerian restaurant in South London. And for them, success was never about fancy dishes or expensive ingredients. It was about believing in who they hired and always striving to grow. And I got a chance to run my own racing team. Took the same approach. Money too. Hey, there she is. In case you live under a rock, this is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. I'm gonna start to talk about the new braking system. Sure. Marcus Ado is something of a prodigy. He was only 25 when he convinced Seneca's board to start investing in unknown drivers and to hire him to run the team. He has the maturity of someone twice his age and that's gained him enormous respect. The only problem is his approach hasn't worked. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. This year's replacement performed so poorly in pre-season trials that he quit before the first race. Is it an embarrassment? No. You have to see the bigger picture. Finding a great recipe involves experimentation. Sure, we had a few rough years, but once we succeed, and I really believe we're going to, we may well become the best team on the grid. But for now, what? Season starts in three days, you're down a driver. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find a new driver. Please make your way to your seats for this driver showcase event. It's a great day for it, and our racers are raring to go and eager to impress. So here we are then, ready for a driver showcase event from the streets of London. I'm guessing where this is come where we come into it then. Can we try and earn ourselves a ride? with Seneca Racing here. We've got to finish ahead of Mate uh, Mateo Vega in the rookie season. And yeah, let's dive into this then. We've got some interesting little, looks like we've got sort of TCR cars then for this one. Eh? A Subaru VW there, I saw an Audi as well. And yeah, Driver 22 racing in. I think this is an Audi RS3. Maybe it's a TCR LMS, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, very, very much looking forward to driving in this thing. 22 cars in this field. It's certainly a very, very packed grid for the start of this one. Yeah, but to place in front of Vega. His 
been having some good races recently. And there is Vega. I mean, yeah, the, these cars, it, you know, you can you can rub in his racing. I think it's safe to say in uh, cars like this. Definitely want to try and get rid of the racing line quickly. Of course, yeah, for this one I am using an Xbox controller as let's... I, I mean, I, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, so I think, yeah, we'll, we'll run corners only then. That seems fair uh, before we absolutely wall up a wall at 160 miles an hour. But straight ahead then of Mateo Vega off the start of this race. You see we've got Ford Escort, Subarus, everything around us. A nice little variety of cars for this one here on the London City streets. But yeah, fingers crossed that, you know, this is sort of what I'm really hoping from this game, that it's got a captivating story that we can really, really enjoy over the coming weeks and months. Of course, Grid Legends releases in just over one month's time as well. There will probably be links uh, down below as well, you know, so you guys can try and pick up this game as well there. But coming towards the end then of lap one. I mean, we're only trying to beat Vega, but if we can try and move up the order, that would be rather nice. They're trying to do the up and under on Tim Slade and the fellow Audi there as we head out of the final couple of turns. And yeah, by the end of lap one, up into P5 there. Sophie Muller just in front of us as well, but we're going to navigate them. To push to Vega. Oh, we're way ahead of Vega. He's completely out of the picture at the moment. Thank you very much. But yeah, just... Oh, there we go. Someone with issues. And I've accidentally made myself a nemesis then, apparently. In this one, after he's managed to spin himself out and we've rubbered his racing again. Luckily, it wasn't a nasty head-on collision between the pair of us there. So we'll do the up and under on Jade Martin as well. And yeah, just Jimmy Estrada then with a three-second lead as we come towards the end of lap two. But look at that, Jimmy Estrada making mistakes as well. They're straight up into the lead. We'll go then in this race. And that's exactly what we want to do as we head in towards the final lap there. Not making any major errors like we're seeing a lot of cars around us do. But let's have a bit of a look then around some of the different camera angles. Cockpit cam. Yeah, this is definitely one of the Audi RS3 TCR cars there. Have a look at my super smooth steering. Right, one lap left. Let's put more pressure on Vega now. One more lap to go then of this race. Perhaps I'll have to jump into this with a wheel at some point soon there. But yeah, I must admit, you know, graphics are looking very, very good at the moment. I'm tempted to stick with third person cam, to be honest, as much so it gives you guys a bit of a look around the event. You know, I've, I've played a lot of Forza uh, in my time as well. So, you know, sort of playing that. Um, yeah, generally, you know, if I'm playing on a controller, I like to use third person cam. But anyway, in towards... A final few corners of this race. London is, yeah, looking absolutely beautiful here. If there's one thing Codemasters know, it's definitely how to make a gorgeous looking racing game as well. Let me just try and keep it nice and tidy again. Just skimming up against the walls here and there, you know, losing a little bit of paint, save a bit of weight, everything like that. But in towards the final couple of chicanes, though, looks like it is going to be our first dub on the board. And surely that means we're going to get a ride with Seneca. Right. Was that Will Buxton in the background? It certainly sounded like him. I don't think it was. Uh, but yeah, there we go then. Driver 22 taking the dub. Surely. Surely we earned a ride with Seneca from that one there. 10,000 gold earned as well. Gives us 14,000 on the board. And then are we going to gain any racecraft XP as well there? We're almost to rookie level 2. And yeah, we have come finished ahead of Matteo Vega there. Which is, like I said, exactly what we needed to do. Surely, surely that's earned us a ride. Well, there we go. Prove yourself the rumours were true. and Marcus Addo has his head turned by a driver and just not the one he expected. Now it's time to see if his new talent can steal the show. A lot of the sponsors, I love that. Slingshot Fuel, Satellite, XER, all sponsors, of course, from F1 2021 as well. That's very, very cool. Distort as well, that I'm probably going to spend a lot of this game uh, pointing out sort of similarities between the two. Everyone give a warm welcome to Marcus Addo, principal of Seneca Racing. So, you're looking for a new driver. What kind of traits does Seneca look for? Thank you. Um, it's more of a spark of talent I'm looking for. Not necessarily the driver out in front. So if I see that spark out there, you better believe I'm picking up the phone and making a call. Thank you, Marcus. Fantastic to have you here. The drivers are going to have to show real skill if they have dreams of participating in the Grid World Series. Well, there we go then. That is, of course, the all-important prize. As we're now going to take out some open-wheel cars. Then we've got to impress Marcus Addo 
once again there. And yeah, fingers crossed, you know. We've we've spent a little bit of time in open wheelers over the last 12 months. Fingers crossed today we can continue to show that skill. But this one we've got to try and finish better than P8. We're going to be starting down in 12th place here. It looks like we've got a beautiful little Formula right. Ford. Ado is scouting a new driver for Seneca. This could be your break. You've got nothing to lose. Give it your best right. shot. Let's just try and make sure we don't have any wheel to wheel contact with anyone else there. It's Jade Martin just in front of us. So I'm guessing everyone here, you know, is trying to prove their worth to Seneca. Right, what's. Well, I'm very, very scared about going to wheel to wheel with someone just in case this thing uh, decides it's just going to immediately barrel roll there. But I think the damage model isn't that extreme looking at it. So we're going to go around the outside of a handful of cars. Ooh. Yeah, looks like you can get away with that just a little bit there as we head down the straight. But again, London in the proper nighttime still so looking very very cool there so we're going to try and do the up and under on Christabel Munoz down in towards the next braking zone all oh, back end just getting a little bit round on so we have to be very very careful of that you know sliding the rear end into the corners it's coming towards the end though of lap one not doing too badly in this little formula four as so we're trying again do the up and under there oh someone Shung Ho okay. Choi just trying to get a little bit aggressive there, trying to defend, but we have made the move work still nonetheless. Up past him, Slade once more is all very, very deep. Round there, giving the room on the inside. Come on, we're not gonna we're not gonna play too aggressively early on. You know, we need to we need to show that spark. Not just over aggression for the sake of it as well. That is gonna be the key, as it is Mia Ritchie who leads the way, but not anymore. Thank you very much. We'll take the lead then of race number two. Fingers crossed here, yeah, we can just try and pull away at the front of this field as making sure, you know, just trying to learn the handling model, everything like that. These cars, you know, they're pretty forgiving for the most part, it feels like, you know, maybe if we jump in, you know, we'll change the settings around when I get a chance, maybe race without some assists anymore. I mean, you know, let, let's have a quick look, see what we can change up. Uh, difficulty, we'll go, we'll go on to expert and just see how we fare. Um, yeah, maybe the AI will get a whole lot quicker as well. But yeah, now we probably won't have any ABS or anything like that. Yeah, the back end now. Definitely willing to slide out a whole lot more immediately. We're getting that vibe from the car. So we have got to be super, super careful with it now through this final lap then of this second race from London. But yeah, surely Seneca are looking at this two dominant displays so far. Starting from the mid-pack. Ooh. That's not what you want to do. Lucky to keep that one out of the wall. That was a bit scary. That could have been, yeah, the, the whole the whole series up in smoke there in just a single locked break. But, yeah, so far, though, we're, we're doing pretty well. Like I said, the car's still fairly unforgiving. Definitely a lot less than it was. As soon as I say that, we're having issues through that corner every single time. Right, and that's going to allow everyone to close up once more. But, fingers crossed, yeah, just keep it clean and tidy through this final turn then of the race and towards the line it is going to be two from two and that's exactly what we need taking the dub over Addison Campbell honestly I don't think there's any way I don't could ignore your performance today I've got a feeling you'll be having some very interesting discussions congratulations well that's what we like to hear genuine talent down on track is exactly what we want to hear there and yeah it is going to be another dub with some more rewards but there we go then guys that is going to be the end of part one of our let's play here from grid legends thank you all so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed do make sure you leave a like and get yourself subscribed i'm going to try and split it up over a couple of videos so yeah tomorrow we're going to be back see if we can try and unlock that drive with seneca racing i'll be honest obviously i've already recorded it it's definitely worth a watch. Yeah, definitely, definitely make sure you get yourself subscribed if you aren't already. But yeah, once again, though, a massive thank you to EA. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon, of course, with some F1 content as well. But yeah, back with more Grid Legends.